Hey guys, meteorologist Mike Prianti. We got another weather update for you. It is Tuesday, June twenty third, and it's been a hot and humid one out there. I don't know if you've been outside, but uh, I've Wait, been. Whoa, 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 Mike, Mike, hey. Mike. Yeah, what? Where are you? What do you mean? Where am I? <laughs> what is that Talk place? That. What place? <laughs> this? Yeah, this place? Well, you're in the office. Am hey. I? Hey. Oh, look at that. Yeah, yeah, you are. I am. Yeah, you're finally back in the office. A couple of uh, employees have headed back to the office, it looks like. Yeah, I don't, think I'm, I don't think I'm alone here, am I? Is there anybody else back here? Is uh, Oh, look, there we go. Oh, we got oh, people oh. here. Look at that. Now, I see, you know, that's good. Everybody's nice and spaced But of course apart. we are, as you notice, uh, the camera. Yeah. We are we are socially distanced. He's yeah, on the other I think he's room. about like and 25 I've, uh, feet away. At least. It's well then. That's, that's like six times four. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's four times away than, than yourself. So normal so <laughs> all thinking, right so we're good <laughs> anyway weather update time right mike for june yes 23rd. Uh, yeah, Let's yeah do it. so mike it's been hot and humid i know you've been outside probably hopefully you've been outside and you've noticed oh yeah uh, i'm actually going golfing this afternoon oh it's that's be... <laughs> that sounds like fun <laughs> <laughs> it's not gonna be great it's really hot out there so it's gonna be a yeah, good time it's, i know and we have the ac crank in here so i don't feel it but i i if i when i when i came into the office it's one of those days where you step outside and you don't have to do a whole lot yeah. to, to break a sweat um it's yep. just that's, that's just how gross it is out there but of course it will be getting nicer though still warm but the humidity will be going away uh, we won't be having this for the rest of the week thankfully um but yeah. uh, we'll dive in and see what um you know what we can expect here and also um really just uh, again what uh, what the pattern looks like so here we're looking at the the upper level pattern here the gfs uh, showing kind of uh this is about through uh this afternoon this evening tuesday evening um a big energy uh, out toward the great lakes um that's kind of where mm. all these showers and storms have kind of been pivoting around Western PA, Central PA, Illinois, you know, just kind of when you get this pattern and it sits and spins all that energy, you know, yeah. Mike, you get a lot of the storms that just kind of fire off and, uh, yeah. and that's going to moving East. I uh, mean, with that, with that yeah. pattern, Mike, you know, you're having all that flow coming up from the South too. So that's exactly. why we're seeing a lot of that heat and humidity mm -hmm. riding up the Eastern seaboard here. Exactly. Um, so, but you know, with those little disturbances, could have a couple of thunderstorms popping off that heat and humidity this afternoon. Of course. Yeah. And, um, uh, you know, um, this is going to continue to go through the rest of the week. And like I said, as this goes through, we're going to start seeing a little bit, a little bit drier trend, a little ridging, but, uh, the weekend brings back maybe some showers and storms. So yeah, Mike, let's take a look and, uh, let's, let's mm -hmm. see what we're, uh, what we're dealing with here. Um, you know, uh, pattern wise and, uh, and, and for tonight, I think, uh, the story, as you mentioned, and we still have the remnant showers and storms as that upper level energy comes through. But as they make their way toward the I-95, I don't think they're going to survive a whole lot. Um, you know, you lose that daytime heating. There's the instability's yeah. not there at night. Uh, you still could see, a, you know, hear a raw couple of rumbles of thunder. Maybe you get a downpour or two. But I think yeah. for the most part, as you head east, this stuff's not going to make it all that far. So it'll just be maybe some remnant showers. But out in PA, Maryland, uh, Western Jersey, there could be a couple of thunderstorms that you might get woken up. Or if you go to bed early tonight, uh, you might mm. get woken up again. So, uh, but uh, for the most part, still another muggy night. 60s, yeah, well, 70s. Yeah. yeah, definitely. And, you know, that does come in pretty late uh, to eastern mm -hmm. portions of Pennsylvania there. I'll be in East Stroudsburg in the Poconos, so <laughs> that area. Um, yeah. So I think I'll be okay with those thunderstorms. Uh, they'll be very isolated. If I get one towards the end of the round, it might yeah. not be too bad, but it might be later than that. So we'll see how it goes. But, yeah, those will definitely wind down overnight. Be a pretty – um, pretty humid night, that's for sure. And uh, I think we got uh, started to interrupt. More people Nate. in the background. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, he's interrupting our weather <laughs> video here. Hey, Nate, how's it going? <laughs> hey, make sure you keep your that. social distancing. All right. He's wearing his mask. He's in good shape. I like. He's that. in good shape. All right. <laughs> all right. Anyway, all right, let's, let's moving up into winter. Yes, moving, moving up into Wednesday. Yes, Wednesday, so um, another 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 hot and humid type day here. You know, hitting ninety degrees in Philadelphia, ninety one in the in the nation's capital. Oh yeah. In the afternoon, though, you know, we could have a couple of uh, showers popping up there along the spine of the Appalachians. So, um, you know, not widespread activity, but at mm -hmm. least um, some isolated storms out there. 
Right, of course, and uh, I think that's basically the same sentiment. However, Mike Buffalo, Pittsburgh, upper set, mid upper seventies. I mean, there's there's that cooler air, mm-hmm. uh, you know, that's going to be on the backside. So we're still dealing with that, you know, heat and humidity along the I ninety five. But then you're making your way west. That's going to mm-hmm. become east, and uh, you know, going forward here. Uh, again, we're not talking. We're not going to be in the seventies everywhere. Yeah. But I think the one thing you don't see on this map is that dew points by this point will be. Uh, lower than what we've seen so that humidity will it won't feel you know as oppressive out there Um, yeah i mean and there's a lot of green painted on that map you know it it looks like it's going to rain everywhere but really guys it's not going to rain everywhere we're just looking at again those isolated showers and storms popping up in the afternoon here so it's not an all-day washout by any means nothing like that so Mm -hmm. Um, that's what we got going on Thursday. And I think there's a Friday here where that it, finally clears. Yeah. And just a couple of storms up further to the north. And you got to go way up north of the Massachusetts border there before you get into any yeah. uh, shower and, threats. And that's kind of because of what we mentioned before that upper energy over the Great Lakes has finally pushed north to like Maine. So it's too far north for really anything down south. But uh, again, um, there could be a couple of showers and storms north of Albany, but for the most part, you know, mm-hmm. still, I mean, we warm up again, we're back in the eighties, so it's not going to be a cool summer day by any stretch of the means, but it's going to be not a humid day. So I think you take away that humidity factor, Mike, mm-hmm. and it's, uh, I think it's going to be a, a nice, a nice summer yeah. day. If you can, if you can, you know, stand the 80 degrees. Um, yeah. so be a pretty good day. And now heading into the weekend, we have a little interesting thing happening here. Yeah, um, we do. Uh, let's across take a look. The north. Yeah, if you could pop that up, there's a, there's what's called a, a Saharan air layer or SAL mm-hmm. uh, that's coming across the uh, Atlantic Ocean right now. Yes. And basically, there's a lot of dust particles in that air. If you saw any shots from Puerto Rico, um, there's a lot of um, you know bad air quality going on right now, a lot of restricted visibility because of dust mm-hmm. uh, in the air that's coming off the Sahara Desert. And right there, Mike has a beautiful shot there of a model showing those bright areas, those bright white areas of that Saharan dust that's coming across. And that might actually uh, head into the mid-Atlantic as we head towards Saturday and Sunday. So we might see a little haziness to the air, mainly just making our sunsets a little bit more, uh, I'd say, reddish or orangish. Um, you know, not really affecting air quality too much, I wouldn't think, but um, something to be on the lookout for if it does look hazy on the weekend days. And of course, one thing, Mike, is that, uh, you know, with, with dust, it, it's definitely keeping any tropical activity to a, to a minimum uh, over the Atlantic. So, I mean, I, yeah. you know, over the next week or two, uh, don't expect a whole lot in terms of anything mm-hmm. out in the oceans developing. Maybe something close to the coast, but anything, I mean, at this time of the year, you don't usually get long tracking storms. That's usually April, August, September. So we're still mm-hmm. very early in the season i know we've gotten active here with storms but you know we're still very early in the season this thing does not ramp up until you know late august early september if anything so but uh, this can definitely be a a hurricane killer in terms of anything developing out here so that's one other thing to take note here yeah Um, yeah that uh that that air layer is very dry um mm -hmm. it really suppresses any type of convection trying to build across the tropics so yep don't got to worry about that too much and uh I think the only thing we got to worry about is our next weather update coming this Thursday. <laughs> yes, and we'll um uh, we'll you know we'll be we'll be talking about um uh, basically kind of uh, just how the weekend's going to look. Um, mm-hmm. I know I mentioned earlier that there is another little system that comes in on Saturday, Sunday over New England. Maybe we'll fine tune that a little bit and uh, explain uh, sort of you know how widespread is that going to be? Is that going to be more of a New England thing? Is it going to be most of the ninety ninety five? Will we see the heat humidity return for next week? I know 4th of July, Mike, is next week. Um, yeah. So it's it's amazing how uh, how quick things can, can can come about. But uh, we'll hopefully dive into the beginning of next week, and maybe next week we'll have a, a 4th of July update and see how uh, the festivities, are, or, or if you're having festivities, uh, you know, will go. And whether hopefully it's a nice weather for, for that time. But uh, I think there'll at least be some fireworks displays out there um, for people yeah. to see. I know some towns were trying to figure out where they could shoot off fireworks and, and true. people could see it from their uh-huh. houses. So right. I know I saw that. I forget what town that was. I did see it on Twitter earlier. And that reminds me, you can certainly follow us on Twitter. Um, you know, Weatherworks is on Twitter, on Facebook, on Instagram, on LinkedIn, and also YouTube, obviously, because you're watching it right here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, and as always, Mike, where, where can they find us on the web? 
Of course, you can always uh, follow us at weatherworksinc.com uh, for anything uh, you know that we do here at, at our company. So uh, you know, we'll be back uh, this Thursday uh, for an update on the weekend. So we'll we'll see you around.